The criminal CEO of Goldman Sachs, Lloyd Blankfein, Blankfein, doesn't matter. Well, he said that Bernie Sanders is a dangerous candidate and that his policies would be dangerous for Wall Street. Now, note the irony here that a criminal would consider Bernie Sanders dangerous. Let's, let's think about that for a minute and let that sink in. The criminal is the one who is saying Bernie Sanders is dangerous, not the one who helped crash our economy in 2008. That guy's not dangerous. No, no, no. Again, the things that have come out during this campaign are insane. Anyways, uh, Elizabeth Warren was not having any of this bullshit. So she said she's going to, quote, blow the BS whistle on him. And she certainly did that. So here's what Elizabeth Warren had to say about this guy. When Blankfein says that criticizing those who break the rules is dangerous to the economy, then he's just repeating another variation of too big to fail, too big to jail, too big to even prosecute, she said. That tells you where we are seven years after the crisis, and these guys still don't get it. Seven years. That crisis cost an estimated $14 trillion. It cost jobs. It it cost homes, it cost retirement funds, and Lloyd Blankfein stands up and says, don't even criticize me. I ran a company that was right at the heart of some of the biggest financial frauds in history and made money off it, but don't you dare criticize me. That's his position? That's why we need voters to get really engaged. So that is a stinging attack from Elizabeth Warren defending Bernie Sanders. But here's where she goes in for the kill. In a time when literally thousands of people are being locked up Every year for nonviolent drug offenses or stealing a car, the CEO of a giant bank can help engineer the theft of hundreds of millions of dollars and he gets a raise. So Elizabeth Warren not playing around here and uh, I don't have to say very much because El Elizabeth Warren took the words out of my mouth. I love that she came to Bernie Sanders defense. Uh, everything that she said about Lloyd Blankfein is true. This guy is a fraud. He's a criminal, and he has the audacity, he has the gall to critique Bernie Sanders and call him dangerous. No, no, no. You see, what's dangerous is you. Your greed, your fraudulent and criminal activity is dangerous, okay? he, This guy is an oligarch. He doesn't know what goes on for many people. I mean, all the individuals who are getting ready to retire in 2007, but they couldn't because they lost their 401ks. Uh, due to the financial crisis. I mean, think of how sad that is. Think about the people who lost their jobs and this idiot got a raise. This is the world we live in. This is why they need to be reined in. This is why no other candidate besides Bernie Sanders this election cycle will actually rein these idiots in. I'm sorry, but you don't get the luxury of saying that Bernie Sanders is dangerous if you're a criminal yourself. Bernie Sanders is going to save the country. He's going to stop you idiots from gambling with our money. He's gonna break you idiots up so that way you won't be too big to fail. That way there'll actually be some competition. You wanna know what that's called? That's called capitalism. That's not called socialism. When you break up these big monopolies and you actually allow them to compete, that's capitalism. So this idiot right here doesn't know what he's talking about. And for Elizabeth Warren to come to Bernie Sanders' defense, so I really hope that Elizabeth Warren is Bernie Sanders' VP pick. Uh, I think he would obviously pick her. It's just a matter of if she wants to or not. But if not, then it's going to be Elizabeth Warren 2024, right after Bernie. Thanks for watching The Humanist Report. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out at humanistreport.com.